Alright, so today we are focusing on solving multi multi step equations. This is basically just like a one step equation, except we are adding in another step. Now, with multi step equations, I have a couple things for you to do. Number one, remember, you are only going to do one step at a time. Do not do multiple steps at once. So only do one step at a time. Extremely important. Second thing, show all your work. I know that math teachers have always been telling you to show all your, show all your work. But when you show your work, I am going to be able to see exactly where you made your mistake. If you do not show your work, I cannot see inside of your brain, and I do not know where you messed up. The next thing, and the last thing, which is important in multi-step equations, so what I want you to do first is you need to move the number not attached to the variable first. It's important to use not attached. Move the number that's not attached first. So let's look at this first example. We have a negative 7x minus 9 is equal to 12. So what's the very what's the third thing that I said? Remember, you have to move the number first that is not attached to the variable. So we have 7x, the 7 is attached to the x, and then we have a minus 9. So let's you move the minus 9 first. So if we have a subtraction, what's the opposite of subtraction? That's addition. So we're going to add 9 to both sides of the equation. So we add 9 to the left add 9 to the right. So on the left side of the equation, the minus, the minus 9 and plus 9, those cancel out. So re rewrite everything else. So we have negative 7x is equal to, now we have 12 plus 9. So 12 plus 9 is equal to 21. Now, this should look familiar negative 7x is equal to 21. This is now a one-step equation, which we have learned previously. So in this, we have negative 7 times x, so we're going to do some the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So we have negative 7 times x. We are going to divide by negative 7 on both sides. So the negative 7s cancel out, and all we have left is x. Now we have 21 divided by 7. What's a positive divided by a negative? The answer is always going to be negative. So 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. So x is equal to negative 3. This is what our answer is. If you want to, you can go and plug it back in. To, so, to double check, so wherever you see x in the equation, you plug in negative 3. So we have negative 7 times negative 3 minus 9 is equal to 12. So negative 7 times negative 3, a negative times a negative is always a positive. So we have 21 minus 9 is equal to 12. So it's 21 minus 9, 12. Yes, it is. So that is, so x is equal to negative 3 is the answer for the first one. So let's look at the second one. What I want you to do is to pause the video, try it yourself, remember the, remember the steps, uh, and look in your notes and figure out uh, how to solve it. So pause the video, and when you're finished, unpause the video to see the way that I did it. All right, so the very first thing that we're trying to do, we're trying to move the number that is not attached to the variable. So we have our variable of g. So we have g plus 1 up in the, in the numerator of this equation. So we have g plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 20. So what we're going to do first, we have our divided by 2. So if we're dividing by 2, the opposite of division is multiplication. So we are going to multiply by 2 on both sides of the equation. 
So the twos, those cancel out. And all that we have left on the left side of the equation is g plus 1. Now we look on the right side of the equation, we have 20 times 2. So 20 times 2 is 40. Now, we have our one-step equation, g plus 1. Now all we have to do is the opposite of addition, which is subtraction. So instead of plus 1, we are going to subtract 1 from, from both sides of the equation. So minus 1 to the, on the left side of the equation, minus 1 on the right side of the equation. So the plus 1 and the minus 1, those cancel out. So all that we have left is g on the left side of the equation. And on the right side of the equation, 40 minus 1, which is equal to 39. So the answer that we are getting is g is equal to 39. So if you want to double check, all you have to do is take the 39, plug it back up into the equation. So wherever g is, so 39 plus 1 is equal to 40, and 40 divided by 2 is equal to 20. So this is correct. So now we have two, mul two more multi-step equations. The first one we have x divided by 5 minus 6 is equal to 8. So Remember, the very first thing we're supposed to do, we're supposed to move the uh, number that is not connected with a variable, which is 6. We're gonna need to, we need to move that over to the right side of the equation. So if we have minus 6, remember we're going to add 6 to both sides. So the left side, the minus 6 and plus 6, these cross out. So, re so we'll rewrite everything that's left on the left side of the equation, that's x divided by 5. So now we have 8 plus 6. 8 plus 6 is 14. <clears throat> now we have our one-step equation. We have x divided by 5 is equal to 14. So now since we're doing divided by 5, we're going to do the opposite of division, which is multiplication. So we're going to multiply by 5 on the left side, and then we're going to multiply by 5 on the right side as well. So on the left side, the 5 and the 5, these cancel out. So now all that we have left is x. And then on the right side, we have 14 times 5, and 14 times 5... is 70. So our answer that we've come up with is x is equal to 70. Now to double check it, all that we have to do is take wherever uh, x is in the equation, all we have to do is plug in for 70. So 70, so 70 divided by 5 is 14, so all that we have 14 minus 6 is equal to 8. So in this, x is equal to 70 is Correct. Now, now what I want you to do, pause the video, uh, try the equation on to the right where 8 is equal to 16 plus 8n. Uh, unpause the video when you're ready to see the way that I have solved it. Alright, so the one thing that I like to do, I like to have the uh, solution on to the right side of the equation, so I'm just going to rewrite it real quick. So I have 16 plus 8n is equal to 8. Now we have to move the the number that is not attached to a variable which is 16 because 8 n 8 is attached to the n it's attached to the variable. So this 16 right here this is like you can think of this as a plus 16 it's a positive 16 so the opposite of a positive 16 is minus 16. So if we subtract 16 from the left side, we have to subtract 16 from the right side. So the 16's cancel out. So let's rewrite what we have on the left side of the equation. That's 8n. Now what is 8 minus 16? 8 minus 16, we're going to go into the negatives. So 8 minus 16 is equal to negative 
8. Now we have our one step equation. We have 8n is equal to negative 8. So 8n, this is multiplication. We have to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So we're going to divide by 8 on both sides of the equation. So this 8n divided by 8, the 8's cancel out, so all we have left is n. And the right side of the equation, we have negative 8 divided by a positive 8. Remember, a negative divided by a positive is always going to be a negative. So negative 8 divided by 8 is equal to a negative 1. So our answer to the equation is n is equal to negative 1. So if you want to plug it, if you want to double check, plug this answer into the equation. So if we have negative 1 times 8, that's equal to a negative 8. And 16 plus a negative 8 is equal to 8. So in this equation, n is equal to negative 1. That is correct.